when Aryans came to India and they began to come over Samhitas, Samhitas followed by Brahmanas, Aranyakas and Upanishads. Clear? In course of time at the same time, we have discussed that these Aryans originally remained in the northwestern part of India, which is also known as land of seven rivers, that is also known as Punjab. Along with six tributaries of Indus, there was one mighty stream of Saraswati in this region. With discovery of iron, they shifted to upper and middle Gangetic plains in the later Vedic phase and they began to practice agriculture. Clear? And Vedic age finally came to an end around 6th century BC with Upanishads, Upanishads that marked the beginning of spiritualism in India that replaced materialism. Clear? In 6th century BC the people got confined to the middle and lower Gangetic plains. It was highly fertile region marked by alluvial soils. They began to use thick layers of alluvial soils for rice cultivation. Abundant production of rice led to economic diversification. This economic Economic diversification also resulted into it resulted into resulted into trade and commerce, and such trade and commerce led to huge amount of prosperity, and that marked the establishment of urban centers once again in India, like the Indus Valley Civilization. This urbanization is known as second urbanization in India after the first urbanization and in the second urbanization large number of urban centers got established in lower and middle Gangetic plain. Surrounding this urban centers only large Janpas began to be established and all these Janpas were came to be known as Mahajanpas. Clear? 16 Mahajanpas were established at this time and among these 16 Mahajanpas the most powerful Mahajanpad was the Magad Mahajanpad Janpad. This Magadj Mahajanpad was located in the central part of Bihar, southern part of Bihar. Magad began to expand considerably and in course of time Magad defeated all other Mahajanpas and you must be the most powerful Mahajanpad with its capital at Rajgriha and Patle Putra. Clear? Ultimately by 4th century BC Magad became such a large Mahajanpad by incorporating the entire northern and central part of India. It resulted into different dynasties like the Haryanka dynasty, then followed by the Sishunak, then the Nanda dynasty in Magad at Patleputra. Clear? Finally, the last Nanda ruler, Mahapadmanand, clear, was defeated by a person from humble background. Chandra Gupta Maurya, who led the foundation of Mauryan Empire. Clear? When Mauryan Empire was established at this time, clear by Chandra Gupta Maurya, he was largely facilitated by a Brahman, and this Brahman was. Chanak or Kautil, clear? Chanak or Kautil was humiliated by Dhananan, the last Nanda ruler, and he decided to defeat Dhananan and he trained Chandragupta more. This whole story in which Chandragupta Maur was defeated Dhananan with support of Chanak is mentioned in a historical drama. This historical drama is known as Mudra Rakshas written by Vishakha Dutt. Clear? So Mudra Rakshas by Vishakha Dutt mentions about mechanizations of Chanak or Kautilya. Clear? Meanwhile, apart from promoting the establishment of large empire known as the Mauryan Empire named after Chandra Gupta Maur with capital at Patliputra. Chanaka or Kortil wrote a very important work on statecraft or political economy. This work is titled as Arth Shastra. Clear? So Chanak wrote a work titled as Arth Shastra. Clear? This work is on statecraft and political economy, not on economy per se. Clear? Political economy means that part of economy related to fiscal administration, that is collection of revenue and going for expenditure. Clear? So book is on political economy that deals with revenue collection and expenditure rather than economy itself. Clear? In fact, this book is not on economy. This book on statecraft, this book is on political economy. Clear? And in this work, that is Chanak, this work, Arthashas of Kotel, he gave different theories altogether, and all these theories in recent times has become very important to promote the national interest of India. We need to discuss about this work that is Arthashas of 
cocktail layer clear now coming to mauryan empire and establishment of arthasas by cocktail so briefly about mahajanpas and then arthasas of cocktail layer clear this needs to be discussed thoroughly that is arthasas first of all clear mauryan empire clear so mauryan empire coming to arthasas clear arthasas is a book divided into 15 chapters known as adhikaranas and in these 15 chapters chandragupta maur has dealt with different theories clear first of all in this work of arthasas chandragupta or kotil or arthasa kotil or janak has mentioned about saptang theory clear in this saptang theory he has mentioned about seven components of the state which is mandatory to sustain a large empire clear so according to this work there are seven components of the state which must be maintained by any ruler in order to sustain large state clear so this has resulted into the saptang theory first of all we'll discuss first of all the saptang theory no in the saptang theory clear the most important role has been given by chanak or kotil to the king here who is designated as samrat or swami so all powers are concentrated in the hands of samrat or swami and all powers radiates from him and to assist samrat and swami there are six other components these components include ministers or amatyas second component include basically the janpad or territory as kotil advised the king to go for war to acquire more and more territory third is in third include the durga or the forts fifth include basically the kosh or the treasury fifth in next six six include the dand or the army and seventh include mitra or the friends clear because chanak advises the king to maintain healthy relationship with with contemporary rulers promoting bilateral and multilateral relationship clear so this was mentioned by chanak in his arthasas known as saptang theory or seven components of the state clear moreover chanak has mentioned about military system in ancient india clear this military system mentioned by chanak is known as chaturang bal that is four major components of army these components included the infantry the cavalry and at the same time the large number of large number of elephants and the chariots clear so all these move from mark the chaturang bal four components of military system now why this i am discussing very important one obviously chanak and arthasas is important clear the recently this is important because all the important military administration mentioned by chanak in arthasas has recently been promoted by government of india clear 